he raped me, drugged me, and I'd have to, uh, the, jumped out a window, two-story window, broke my pelvis and my hip. Okay, now this was the second night. I was there, yes, yes that sir. That you were there. Yes, sir. And you, you said he, he drugged you and raped you. Yes. And he also beat you. Yes, he beat me so hard that I, I, I of course, yelled. But he, if I yelled, he would hit me harder to stop the yelling. I just gave up. I just gave up, you know, and I cannot for the sake of me understand why anyone would want to glamorize that guy at all. That's sick. You know, it's it has to stop. Dr. Phil, I believe the military knew. I spent, I a, a, I spent a many a night laying in my house and I'm like, how could they not know because I was in the military. He, he had a very short tent. I was in almost 10 years. And so, you know, I knew the structure on how it went. You make formation, which is where you're accounted for, where we have all the cooks, whatever. And then you run, you shower, and then you go to your particular job area. This man never made formation. Jeff made formation when I was there. How in the heck could they not know that this man was being tortured? I wrestled with that. And I finally came to the conclusion that everything in this spiritual realm or in the flesh is not for me to know. Something, God knows all, it's not for me to know because I would have lost my mind trying to figure out how in the hell did the military, they had to know. They did know. They had to I have know. A, I, I have a, a letter that was written to me about 10 years ago from a, a warrant officer. He was under investigation for the death of a man named Hans. He was the last one seen with Hans. He who? Uh, Jeff. Jeff. Jeff was under the investigation, I'm sorry, uh, for the murder of a man named Hans. Yeah, they knew. You watched a little bit of the, yeah. of the series. What was your reaction? I threw up. I threw up. made me sick to think that someone would take advantage of a, a community, a black community, African-American community, LGBTQ community. All these people that I've been fighting for since I've got hurt. All these people that, and, and then some guy comes in, and I have a better choice of words I can't use on TV, comes in and undermines everything that these people stand for. I think he re-victimized them, re-traumatized them, shamed them, you, the whole gamut. They call me, you know. This lady and this guy from Netflix call me. I am not doing anything for them like that. And I said, if it's to glamorize them, I'm hanging up right now. And she started to try to explain to me what they were doing. And, and I, got, I got off the phone. I'm not doing it. Have you watched any of it? Yes, I, uh, I did watch it. Um, I felt it was over the top. Um, they didn't need to present it the way that they did. I think it was insensitive for the way it was done. Um, the majority of people uh, know the story, at least the, the civilian part of it. I think they glamorized it. But I, on the other token, um, I felt that overall it needed to be told because there are people like myself and, and people in the audience that Serial killers are normal. They look normal, they talk normal, they act normal, and so the public needs to be aware that there are people walking amongst us that are potential killers. They got the character wrong in the movie, by the way. I, I don't know where they came up with that. I, I actually watched some of it, and it did trigger me, and, uh, you know, they, that's not how he acts. Jeff is very charming, very charismatic. He was successful at everything he did in there. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.